Cordler Shearer and I'm a research fellow at the Trinity Centre for Environmental Humanities in Trinity College, Dublin. I was always um, fascinated by the sea, I always had a love for the sea and it had me curious about how it, uh, its systems work. So I studied marine environmental sciences, which allowed me to um, get a not just a very good overview of the broad sciences, but I gained a lot of detail um, of uh, in chemistry, physics, maths, and biology. My postgraduate studies um, then focused on the marine systems, and I learned a lot about oceanography ecosystem modeling, hydrodynamics, and the physio, uh, physical chemical properties of the sea. And it was the perfect um, mix between applied and practical um, courses and theoretical lectures. The sea was the ultimate driver for me. Um, but if I had to name people, it was definitely my um, primary school teacher's daughter who inspired me. Um, she was older than me and I admired her courage to leave home and study marine environmental sciences. Then during my undergrads, it was my lecturer in plankton who inspired me to specialise in plankton ecology. And he's now still a very good friend of mine. <music> I'm working in a very interdisciplinary field where natural sciences and humanities work together um, on the Food Smart Dublin project. We investigate if human um, consumption behaviour to eat more sustainable seafood from lower energy levels can be encouraged by rediscovering historical seafood recipes. So we're tapping into our coastal cultural heritage while safeguarding and harnessing our ocean's wealth. It's very versatile and varied. I work at sea, I worked at sea um, on research vessels. I wrote um, and write models on my computer. I do a lot of outreach and engage with people, organizing workshops, but I also create our website. Um, in the Center for Environmental Humanities, we are researchers from all different disciplines and we have to find a common language to understand one another. But for that, we are richer in our research, I believe, and we can offer better solutions. I'll make a difference because I encourage a healthy relationship with the sea. Ireland is an island nation, but at this, that seems to have been lost um, to, to a certain degree. While being engaged in outreach programs as a marine ecologist, I can help to bring back the sense of belonging, the sense of marine stewardship, and the responsibility to look after our precious ocean. <music> like to see that the marine environment is an intrinsic part of school education. I think school education is extremely important and we have to um, appeal to the younger generation. But also that people eat more fish from lower down the food chain um, in a more sustainable way so that our future generations can live with and from our beautiful oceans and that there's a sense of um, island nation um, that is much stronger than it is now in Ireland. And I want to believe um, that I have played a key role in that. From my experience, women are very good at lateral thinking that is invaluable in STEM education. Half of the world's brains are women's brains and it would be a crime not to use them.
I would have liked to know that the stability of a permanent position, financial security coming with that, is not a given, especially in academia and especially if you do not want to pursue uh, the career of a professor. Also, that you're often on your own in getting uh, that your next funding grant in uh, and that it sometimes is more than a full-time job. I was fortunate to grow up in a household where I was always encouraged to follow my curiosity. I grew up with two brothers and I was never told I can't do things because I'm a girl. If you have a passion for something, if you are curious and if you are good at sciences and figuring out how things work, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise and just go for it. Have the courage and the strength and go for it.